Boys lacrosse action, Ottawa Hills welcoming a streaking St. Francis squad. The Knights building on momentum after the comeback win against Perrysburg on Tuesday. They started the season slow, but they start fast tonight. Travis Kenner takes it himself all the way from midfield. It's two and a half minutes in and the Knights are already up one nothing. It takes less than a minute to add to it. This time, Charlie Werner works his way around the D and gets the assist from the turf. And now it's 2 nothing Knights. And we head to the final seconds before the break. Liam Silk, Silky Smooth, cuts the Green Bears deficit 5-2. to two. But the Knights keep the lead throughout. 8-5 the final. A few insurance goals and big saves from Braden Mattis locking it down. I think the biggest part was just the offense calming down the ball and really giving our defense the time to set up and calm down. Our defense has a really big play in how we've been doing this year and we came off to a rough start to the season but as a team I think we're really bonding and growing and I mean in the past few days uh, we can really see that success. Greg Frankie and Matt Crandall join us once more from Ottawa Hills. St. Francis Won the game 8-5 to five over Ottawa Hills, but Ottawa Hills was coming on at the end to try to make a real game of it, but they were stymied early by some great goalkeeping, in particular by the senior Braden Mattis for St. Francis, and I think that was a big factor in the game. Yeah, goaltending was a big factor. We had good goaltending both sides, but it was that quick start by St. Francis that had Ottawa Hills chasing all game. And another big factor was Ottawa Hills got numerous opportunities with a man up, and they couldn't until the very end capitalize on any of them and St. Francis got an opportunity and they did. If you switch a couple of those things around, this could have been a very close game. Yeah, that's one thing Ottawa Hills going to go back and look at and maybe that was their downfall of the game, especially earlier, their man up situations. They got some looks that they liked. They just didn't get the goals. Once again, that came back to Matt as the great goaltending for St. Francis. But it was a good showing here, I thought, by both teams tonight. St. Francis, a much younger team than they've had before, but with a solid veteran keeper and some key veterans on the team and a lot of talent, they could be in position to make another good run once we get to postseason time. They defeat Ottawa Hills tonight.